In this updated tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we end our third tutorial set on how to position, freeze, and colorize multiple videos on the screen at the same time, what I refer to as the Wild Wild West effect. We've done some work in positioning them and making sure that we have a freeze frame at the beginning and end, and then we've used our chroma key tool to make sure that we can see all the videos on the screen at the same time behind the freeze frames. What we'd like to do now is add a couple of special touches. We'd like to make it so that when each video ends, it not only freezes, but the freeze changes color. We're going to colorize the frozen frame. So I'm going to click on the end of my first video freeze frame, snapshot number one here, and then we'll click on our effects room. And then we're going to go into our color options. They're alphabetical. I'll go to color painting and drag and drop that on my freeze frame, of the last frame of the Jeep. And you see it already changed it, but I'd like to make it even more dramatic. So I'm going to click on the effect button above my timelines and take my edge thickness and drag it up to a maximum of 200%. And so that changes the look and feel of that one. And then what I'm going to do is do the same thing with the snapshot. I'll take that same color painting, drag it and drop it, and then we'll also maximize that to 200. And our shorter one of the bikers, the end frame there, we do the same color painting and then we'll modify the effect accordingly. So now we have this colorized look at the end when each one stops. And so we'll play a few seconds of this and you'll get to see the effect so far. Starts out with all of them frozen and then the Jeep does its thing on our screen for approximately 10 seconds and then it freezes and colorizes and then the second video does the same. It will freeze and colorize. And then when it's finished, the third one picks up and it will do the same. I'd like to add a couple more finishing touches to this. We'll go back to our media room. I've imported a little bit of music that we'll use. And so I'll take this and drop this down to the music track. I'm not going to edit the end of it. I will in our final production, but that will add a little flair. And also, I think I'd like to use a little bit of titling. So I'll click on my title room and I'll double click on it, which gets me into my title designer. And we'll have this title function to tell me something about the Jeep. I'll just type the word Jeep in for now. And we'll add a note to all the other two as we pause the tutorial and get back to you. I have added three titles, one for the Jeep when it freezes, one for the driver, and one for the bikes. But if I want them all to stay on the screen, I need to lengthen them. That's why they're on separate tracks, not on the same one. We'll take the Jeep and drag it to the end, lengthen the, that, and then change the duration of the driver title, and lengthen that as well. I'd like to make one more change before we look at the video, and that's to add a border between the various segments. So I need a new track to do that, and if I look at my tracks, I'm out of room. I have six of them and then a title track. I'll right-click and click on Add Tracks. We want one below track six. Let's me add one video track, and I'll zero out the audio tracks. Now I have an additional track. Let's click on our media content, go to color boards, and I'll take a color. We'll take the simple green one and drag it down. And now we'll double click on it to get into our PIP designer for the color board. We will have to turn off our aspect ratio for this. I see we have the chroma key active. Let's go to object settings, turn off aspect ratio, and now we'll drag this color board so it's a narrow line right about here. Click on OK. So we'll take the same color board, drag it down on track number eight. Double click on it to get into our PIP designer. 
turn off aspect ratio and this time we will shorten shorten it and we'll change a little bit about the dimensions this way and now if we look at it we should have a line between that I'll click on OK and now we'll stretch it out to the length the duration of our entire project and I'll need to do the same to the track above in terms of width we'll lengthen that to the length of the video and now we have a frame that we can use for both of them so this is a simple way you can augment the position freeze and colorize of several videos on the screen at the same time